This is the KE7 TRP Hamshack. This uh, video is showing the audio rack. This audio rack consists of the top piece of gear there is an ART voice channel. The voice channel accepts a microphone input and it gives you a bunch of features here. You have a tube mic preamp. You have a compressor. You have an expander, a gate, and then you have a parametric equalizer. You get two mid-range controls and you can pinpoint the frequency that you want, add or uh, subtract, which is nice. Obviously when you're using this in communications or spoken word type of thing, having the, uh, the double mid one and mid two is nice. And you have a peak output meter and an average output meter. This control controls the rate of the digital outputs. This unit also has a USB on the back. You can plug it right into your computer or your laptop. It shows up as a sound card. So anything that, uh, if you speak into the microphone, it will uh, the uh, audio will be piped down the USB to the computer so you can take recordings, use your computer speakers as a monitor uh, you can interface into a, uh, a program for audio processing like Reaper or Pro Tools and then you can add plugins to change uh, send the audio back out of the computer and back into the unit so you can uh, add di in different effects but uh, that's the ART voice channel. The next unit down is the uh, DAP 310 discriminant audio processor. This is my broadcast processor. It's a three band uh, expander compressor. The LEDs don't show up well on this camera, uh, but all the lighting was replaced with the LEDs there. So what that does is, uh, there's three bands of compression. It gives you an AGC action when you're speaking, so you, your, your uh, audio level is higher. It also has a negative peak limiter. And I have a filter, an NRSC broadcast filter, on the back of mine that limits me to 10 kC. Uh, that unit I've had it for a couple years. I had some trouble with it, and uh, recently I decided to to just go through the whole unit. So I replaced all of the op amps. They plug in, so it's not much uh, much effort. But there's quite a few of them, over 30 of them, and all the capacitors, resistors, and so on and so forth were uh, were replaced. Over 30 capacitors, and it, this unit was uh, was made back in the 70s. Uh, going down there, uh, you see the audio spectrum analyzer. That's useful. That's actually uh, just looking at the output of the audio uh, equipment above. So if I speak into the microphone, you can see that uh, my pattern is there. That's useful for setting up the EQ. For example, I when everything was set flat, there was a very large 500 hertz bump it would pin the uh, 500 hertz bar graph of the meter. I actually went up here, set mid one to 500, and then reduced it by 6 dB, cutting out that that 500 hertz bump on the uh, on the on the spectrum analyzer graph. Then I noticed that it was rolling off up here at uh, about 3k, 3 to 4k. So I added 6 dB at 3 to 4k, and then there was some uh, some low end that was missing. I boosted the low end, set it 150 hertz. And now when talking into the microphone, I have a nice flat uh, spectrum analyzer graph. It's just tailored to my personal preference of sound. 
down here is a hundred megahertz Tektronics scope. It's a it's it's connected to the output of the transmitter. I'll see how this shows up on video. And so you can see that uh, I can monitor my uh, modulation envelope while sitting back here in the chair. So audio rack. And then this is what's actually coming out of the, the transmitter. And uh, of course there's the SX42 receiver with the frequency display. And then here's the, once again the transmitter for 400s with 304 TL modulators. That's the audio rack setup at KE7TRP. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.